James McCafferty, a fiddler of renown, was invited to a fiddler's night here in London town. He shaved and dressed that evening and was stepping out the door when he tripped and dropped his fiddle and smashed it on the floor. His heart stood still, his face turned white, his head was in a spin, for he would go nowhere tonight without the violin. What can I do, he said at last, as he viewed the sad remains Unless I go to Sweeney's house and borrow Mary Jane's He threw his leg across the bike and headed up Cricklewood Lane But as he went he was less content about asking Mary Jane If I thought she wouldn't help me out, I just as soon not go But when she hears what's happened to me, I'm sure she'll not say no Yet me father always said that the Sweeney's weren't too free And I'm damned if I give that bitch the chance of saying no to me I don't know who they think they are but I could let them know They hadn't the means to scratch themselves not very long ago They said that muck flies very high when you hit it with a stick And up starts like the Sweeney's are enough to make you sick but they'll not make a fool of me and Mary Jane is in I'll tell her very straight where she can shove her violin Well Mary Jane came to the door with a smile upon her face For Patrick James was always welcome round at Sweeney's place Good evening Patrick James says she are you coming in a while to hell, said Patrick James, Miss Sweeney dropped a smile. I'll not be in your door again, he roared and turned to go. I knew damned well before I asked that the answer would be no. Take that heap of woodworm you have hanging on your wall, and where the monkey stuck its nut, you can stick it, bow and all. 